Hello， 早上好，欢迎各位同学再次来到我们的 GG's Warriors， 我是 Wing 老师。今天呢是6月23日的早上10点钟，这里呢 Wing 老师出现呢，就是因为明天我们有一个特别的节目，那要向大家报告一下哦，就是呢我们的这个 e l v i n 老师，上个星期大家已经跟他学习到了如何去做这个电话的魔术，对不对？剪辑的技巧。这个星期呢 ，Evan 老师将会带来更高级的 Level Two 的技巧带给大家。上个星期有一些同学呢是在挑战我们的 Evan 老师，对不对？所以 Evan 老师也对你们发下了赞帖，请看。各位同学，这个星期三早上十点，准备一个帽子。准备一件外套，我们来挑战这个东西。放马过来，我们星期三见。所以呢，如果想要学习更高级的这个电话编呃编程的这个影片剪辑的技巧呢，就一定要订阅我们的 Dynaboom Malaysia， 留守这最新的这个 live video。好的，接下来呢，我会把时间交回给今天我们的主持老师 Jenny 老师。好，欢迎 Jenny 老师出场。嗨，同学们好。那么呢，今天我是你们的主持人 Jenny 老师。当然不是我来给讲课哦。那么呢，今天我们要来看的是 ，OK， 英文三年级的 countable and uncountable nouns， 由我们的啊，翁家印老师呢为我们带来这一堂课的。那么呢，请同学们在上课的时候呢，啊，遵守以下的规则哦。那么第一，请同学们专注上课，不需要管那些闹事者的，因为呢，违规的留言。将被 YouTube 的系统检测到后，它将会永远无法留言。那么呢，为了更好的啊去体验这一个课程的话呢，同学们可以把你们的视频解析度呢调整为最高的，也就是720。那么如果同学们有任何不明白的地方，同学们可以在直播过后呢重复的观看。当然。要记得订阅我们 Dynabo Malaysia YouTube 的频道，然后同学们可以善用留言平台发问问题以及回答问题。最后记得啊，尊重及感恩授课的老师在课堂的尾声送上感谢的留言。那么我们要怎么啊 subscribe 我们的那个 Dynabo 的频道呢？这里有一些啊步骤。同学们呢，只需要点击那个 subscribe，OK，、okay? 过后呢，记得开启小铃铛。为什么开启小铃铛？这样子啊，有任何的一堂课，同学们将不会错过。那么像这样子，如果这个是手机的话呢，一样也是点击 subscribe 过后呢，开启小铃铛。那么事不宜迟，我们有请我们的 DJ 嗯为我们带来 countable and uncountable nouns。有请 Teacher N.、嗯、okay, so hello there, everyone. Welcome on board. Thank you so much for joining our lesson today. Okay, so before we start our lesson today, I'm going to tell you a little story about myself. I come from Kedah, where you can see a lot of paddy fields. And I like to eat yogurt and strawberry cakes. So, how about you? What do you like to eat? Can all of you share it with me? So, how are you going to share? It is very easy, actually. So, you go into this website, which is menti dot com. So, m e n t i dot com. So, I'm going to show you here. Very easy. Okay, so. Before that, you are going to see a web page like this, okay? And then please key in the number code, which is eight eight nine seven zero, and then you click submit. 
and you can then type in your favorite food ah uh, what do you like to eat so after you have finished typing your answer please come right back into our life's lesson here to see your answer on the screen okay so everyone can you try it now so for example i type yogurt so when i say some meat okay so i will see on my screen okay thank you so much i can see noodles fish and chips okay pizza burger oh there are a lot of delicious food here okay some of you given have given us even pictures okay good well done everyone spaghetti hamburger pudding yes oh thank you so much everyone so as you can see there are a lot of delicious food right ah so we like different types of food yes so i'm looking at many types of food here so you can continue to type in your answer so if you can't log in this website don't worry you can still type it in the live comment yes you can choose more than one okay as you can see just now you can type more than one answer yes oh okay i saw that there are also a few of you who like strawberry cakes too yes i can see pizza yes a lot of you okay we have a hundred of 80 of you okay commenting here yes okay good so i can see in the comment there are ice cream cake there are also salad watermelon yes okay so everyone thank you so much for your response so now let's go right into our lesson here today so we are going to have another activity later so everyone let's go right into our lesson here today okay so i'm going to sh stop showing this screen here so everyone let's go right back into our lesson today okay So after seeing so many types of food just now from your sharing, okay, so today we are going to learn about food and can we count all of them, okay? So let's look into the I can statement for our lesson today. So after today's lesson, you are going to tell yourself, I can do these two things, okay? 我能够做到这两件事, huh? So number one is I can group the food into countable and uncountable nouns. And also number two, I can use there is or they are with countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, so let's go right into the food kingdom and learn more about food. Okay, so in the food kingdom, we have king and queen onions. And we also have Sir Chocolate. He is very sweet. We also have Mr. Lettuce. As you can see in the picture, he is very rich. And he likes to eat biscuits. Now, in the kingdom, they have a lot of sugar. And they also have a lot of flour. So, every day, they like to eat pasta and also yogurt okay so we have eight types of food here so now in this kingdom so now let's look at these eight types of food okay so we have onions okay everyone so you can say it together with me these are onions and we also have chocolate next we have lettuce okay everyone can you say it together lettuce and next we have biscuits okay biscuits and next we have sugar we have flour pasta and also yogurt okay so now 
based on this six uh, sorry based on these eight types of food we are going to do an activity here okay so can we count all these types of food so let's group the food okay very easy you are going to log into or uh, type this uh, web URL okay you are going to go into this website here bit.ly slash 3f o n capital z zero t okay 那么第一个是大号的 o 那么第二个呢是零啊 okay this is a capital o and then this is a zero okay so when you type into this link what you are going to see is something like this okay so you are going to see something like this so sorry okay so you are going to type in your name first everyone okay please type in your name okay so uh i saw in the comment that someone say he or she is hungry yeah okay so never mind let's learn uh, more about food and after our lesson here you can go and have your breakfast or your lunch okay so everyone you can first type in your name first so for example i can type miss oh okay and then you can click start okay so for those who have not or who cannot log into this website don't worry i'm going to show you later so everyone are you ready okay so for this you do not need any code okay you just type in the url just now and then you can go into this okay so now let's look into the game here so everyone if you can't log in the game don't worry so now let's look into this game now so let's learn about food okay so based on the okay so sorry so we have nine types of food here okay we have nine types of food here so can you please try to group them into two groups which is food that i can count and also food that i cannot count okay everyone so if you do not if you can't go into this link don't worry you can take out a piece of paper okay and then you write down your answer so after one and a half minutes we are going to discuss the answer and we are going to see who is the fastest and who got the most correct answer okay so everyone enjoy your journey in this jungle Okay, so we are going to wait for another 20 more minutes, okay, for you to try out. And then we are going to discuss the answers together. Okay, so if you can't open, it's okay. You write down your answer in the comment, okay, it's okay. So can you please try? Uh, so you can first write down countable oh sorry you can write down food that i can count okay and then you write down all your answers and then you move on to the second group okay so for those who cannot go in never mind you can look into the screen now yes okay so now we are going to discuss the answers okay so we are going to wait until two minutes then we are going to discuss the answers together okay yes i can see a lot of you commenting yes good okay thank you so much okay now everyone let's discuss the answers together so now let's look at this one lettuce so lettuce is actually a type of food sorry a 
type of vegetable, so I will put it as food that I can count. Okay, as for onions, so if you can say in many, you can count it. Ah, so I will put it as food that I can count. So now let's look into flour, mean flour. So can we count flour? Okay, we cannot count flour, right? So I put it here and also water. We cannot count water too, right? So I put it as water. And biscuits, pinggan, we have many. So I can put it as food that I can count. Next, we will look into sugar. Okay, tang. Can we count sugar? Tang, right? So I put it here. And also yogurt. Okay, oh, you cannot count yogurt too. And next, chocolate. I can see some. Uh, you have mentioned that chocolate can be counted, right? Okay, now in English, we can't really count chocolate. Okay, later I'll tell you why. And next would be pasta. Now, just now I saw in your comment, a lot of you uh, said that pasta can be counted. Okay, actually, pasta cannot be counted. We are going to see why later. So now let's see. Okay, so how many did you got it correct? Okay, let's see. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. So, I'm going to see the leaderboard. Okay, so let's skip. Okay, we go into the results here. Yes, well done, everyone. So, as you can see here, okay, we have two winners here. Okay. We rat ha and also lao. Okay, thank you so much for trying. Okay, so now let's look into go right back into our slide. Okay, we are going to learn more today. Okay, so so actually, food that we can count what we call it as R uh, as countable nouns okay so everyone food that we can count or other things or nouns that we can count we call them as countable nouns so since we can count so we have singular and also plural forms okay so what is singular singular is one and also plural plural is two or more Okay, 两个或以上, uh. So, for example, let's look here. So, we have one onion or if we have two, we'll say two onions. And what do I have here? So, I have an orange and or one orange. So, when I have two, I can still count them. Two oranges. Okay, everyone. And then, now, let's look into... Uh, uncountable nouns now. So sorry. Okay, now. So as you can see, uncountable nouns. Un, uh, un means cannot or no. Uh. Okay, so when we have uncountable nouns, they are nouns that we cannot count. Okay, so since we cannot count them, so we only have one form. Okay, so we don't have plurals. Okay, so for example, here rice, but we cannot say two rices. So as you can see here, can we count rice? Can we count like one rice, two rices, three rices? You can't, right? So when you count like that, you are going to count for a few days, okay? So rice, we cannot count them. So rice is actually an uncountable noun. Okay, so everyone, can you see? These are rice, ah, fan li. Okay, we cannot count them. Okay, so now let's look into our slides again. Okay, so as for countable nouns, we can use a, n, or numbers. So now a and n, ah, a and n is actually one. 大家要记得 a and n 是一个啊。So for example, a pineapple. So 就是一个黄梨 ，and then an onion. Okay, 一个洋葱 and also we can put numbers like five biscuits. Okay, but for uncountable.
countable nouns, we cannot use a, uh, n, or numbers. Okay, because we cannot count them. So you cannot say this is a water. Uh, this is two water. No, this is just some water. Uh. Okay, so now let's look into what are some other types of food that we can also see them as uncountable nouns. Okay, hey, so as you can see, we cannot say a water or two water. Okay, so now let's look at the first one. So what do we have here? So everyone, can you type in the comment? What can you see from the slide? What are the two things you can see on the slide now? Okay. What, uh, what can you see on the slides now, everyone? Yes, okay, I saw milk and good coffee. Yes, okay, so everyone, well done. So, as you can see, uh, liquid, uh, so all these, we can't count them, like water, milk, coffee, tea, soup, and also juice. We cannot count them, okay? They are liquid. Okay? So now, let's look into the next one. Can you see what is the man doing? Okay, everyone. What is the man doing? Ah, yes, very good, everyone. So now, what is the man doing? Yes, you can see salt, right? Yes. The guy is actually sprinkling some salt. Okay, so can you count how many or how much salt is he sprinkling? Ah, can we count? We can't count, right? So all these tiny little things are very small. Things that are very, very small, we, we actually cannot count them. Okay, so for example, what do we have here? We have sugar, we have rice. We also have salt and also we have flour. Okay, just like what I show you just now, rice. One is too tiny. Huh? Can you see this is actually very, very small, okay? So we can't count them. So rice and the other tiny little things are uncountable nouns, okay? So now let's continue with the last one. So this is the last type of uncountable nouns. Okay, so now what can you see on the slide now, everyone? What can you see on the slides now? Can you please comment in the comment now? Yes. Okay, so everyone, what is on the screen now? Yes, great, good. Everyone, now me and Pao, huh? so now let's see. If you want to see, there are a lot of bread. You can see here, huh? you cannot say they are breads. No, okay? If you want to say it is, we can say they are slices of bread. So as you can see, there are some other food. If you need to cut it into smaller pieces, uh, uncountable nouns. We also count them as uncountable. Okay, so what do we have here? For example, bread, fish, cheese, chocolate, and also meat. So all these food, we cannot count them because they need to be cut into smaller pieces to eat. Okay, so now, after we have learned about countable and uncountable nouns, we are going to see how are we going to use there is and there are with countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, so now let's be like Patrick. Learn more, eat more, okay? So we have there is and there are. So for there is, how do we use there is? So number one, we use it for countable nouns, singular. Okay, number So now what is singular? Singular means one. So for example, what do we have here? There is an apple. Okay, or there is a 
tomato. So only one. So for one that we can count, we are going to use there is. So another example would be there is an orange. One, okay? There is an orange. Okay, so now let's look into how are we going to use there is. So number two, we are going to use there is for uncountable nouns. So now what are uncountable nouns? 我们刚才已经学到了, there are a lot of uncountable nouns, right? So what do we have here? So we have there is some sugar. Okay, so now as you can see here, sugar, we cannot count, so we must use some. Okay, now what is some? 一些, beberapa, some sugar. And also I look into your comment here. You can say a lot of, very good. Okay, so we have uncountable nouns. We need to use there is. Okay, so now what are some of the examples? So we can say there is some water. Okay, there is some water. And also we can say there is a lot of rice. Okay, there is a lot of rice. Okay, so now let's look into there are. How about there are? How are we going to use there are? Okay, so now there are is only for countable nouns that comes in many. Okay, plural means two or more. Okay, 两个或以上的. Okay, so as you can see in the picture and also the sentences, there are some oranges. Okay, so there are some oranges. Okay, similar to just now. So if I have two oranges, so I can say there are two oranges. Okay, as long as you have two or more, you can use there are. Okay, so I repeat, there are is only for things that you can count and they come in many. Okay, so everyone, let's look into the next activity here. So now, as you can see in the slides now, how many types of food can you see on the table? So can you share your answer with me in the live comment now? Okay, how many types of food can you see on the table? Okay, so can you try to count and tell me your answer in the comment now? Okay, I see eight, six, nine. Okay, how many, everyone? How many? Okay, ten. Okay, some more. What do we have? Nine, nine, ten. Okay, everyone, how many types? Huh? Okay, you do not need to name me the name of the food yet. Okay, how many types of food can you see? In the picture now, uh, how many types of food can you see on the table? Okay, I see a lot of nine, nine, okay, four, ten, eight, okay, eight. Okay, a lot of you mentioned eight and also ten. Okay, nine, nine, ten. Okay, so now. Everyone, I'm going to tell you the answer. Okay, I can see a lot of you saying that you are hungry and you want to eat, okay? So, later you are going to have some food, okay? So, now let's see. Okay, so how many types of food do we have on the table? So, the answer is seven. Okay, so now we are going to count one by one. How many types are? Huh? Okay, so a lot of you say 9, 10, and also 8. So I have 7 here. I'm going to tell you which one are all these foods, okay? So number 1, we have bread. We also have grapes. We have a pear, a cake, uh, some biscuits, cheese, and finally, butter. 
Okay, so these are all seven types of food. Okay, I'm wondering maybe some of you counted this into your answers too. Okay, this is actually not a type of food. Okay, this is a drink. So now what is this drink? So we have lemonade. Okay, we have lemonade. Now this is actually also a drink. So we cannot count them as one type of food. But never mind, everyone. Thank you so much for giving me your answer. A very good try. We are going to have another game later. So let's learn more and then you can score more in the game later okay so now what's on the table so we are going to use there is and there are to form sentences about what types of food are on the table now okay so now let's look into number one cake okay so now how many cakes are how many cake is there on the table okay how many cakes are there or how many cake is that? Okay, well done. I can see uh, some of you have already mastered or learned about that is and they are. Very good. So now, so for cake, you only have one. So we will say a cake. So if we have a cake, do we use that is or they are? So can you tell me that is or they are? Yes, I can see a lot of you saying there is well done so there is a cake so this is sentence number one there is a cake okay so now let's look into the next word which is cheese okay everyone cheese okay so now can we count cheese everyone okay so in the comment can you tell me can we count cheese so if you think cheese can be counted, you can put a C. Okay? You can put a C. If you think cheese is cannot be counted, so you can say a U. You can put a U, uncountable. Okay, so C and also U. Okay, so can we count cheese? Okay, some say C, C, a lot of C. So now U, okay. I also see, I also saw a lot of U. Okay, so now everyone. For cheese, because we need to cut into smaller pieces, right? Okay, so cheese is uncountable. We cannot count cheese, okay? So if we cannot count cheese, we cannot use a, we cannot use an, we must use some, okay, everyone? We must use some cheese. Okay, so if we cannot count cheese, do we use there is or they are? Okay, so everyone, do we use there is or they are? Yes, we use there is, right? So we use there is some cheese because we can't count cheese. Very good. So now let's look into the next word, which is butter. Okay, everyone, can we count butter? So can you put a C or U? C or U. Butter is countable or uncountable. Can you please tell me your answer? C or U? Okay, U, U, yes. Yes. Okay, U, yes. A lot of U here. Yes, well done, everyone. Butter is uncountable. We cannot count butter. Very good because we need to cut it into smaller pieces, right? To put it on our bread. Yes, well done. So as for butter, if we cannot count them, so it would be some butter because for uncountable, we cannot use a, we cannot use n, we must use some, okay? So if we say uh, butter is uncountable, so we must use there is some butter. Okay, well done everyone. I can see a lot of you making this sentence in your comment now. Well done everyone. Okay, so now let's look into our last word here, which is biscuits. Okay, so now can you tell me biscuit is countable C or uncountable U? So can you please tell me in your comment, if you think biscuits are countable, you type a C for me. 
Okay, and if you think uh, biscuits are uncountable, you type a U for me. Okay, so can you please type up C or U? Okay, everyone, can you please try? Okay, so everyone, can you please try? Uh, some say U. Okay, for biscuits, everyone, can we try? Is it C or U? Okay, I can also see a lot of you. Okay, yes. Well done, everyone. Yes, I can see a lot of C and also a lot of you. So now let us look into this. So everyone, biscuits. Biscuits, huh? you, and when you see the S here, it means what? It means many, right? Okay, how many biscuits can you see on the table? So we have one, two, three, four. We can count them, right? Four biscuits, okay? So this is countable, everyone. So if we have biscuits many, we can use some, okay? We cannot use a or n because a or n is one, okay? It is only for one. So we have some biscuits. So we have there is or there are some biscuits. So everyone, can you try to make this sentence in the comment now for some biscuits? Okay, so can you try? There is some biscuits or there are some biscuits? So I will tell you the answer in a short while. Okay, everyone. Okay, yes. There are. Okay, good. There are some biscuits. Okay, I saw some of you writing there are some biscuits. Okay, so well done, everyone. The answer is there are some biscuits because we can count and there are many, right? Well done. Okay, so now it's quiz time, everyone. So now let's see who's the winner. Okay, so just now if you cannot or can't join the first game just now so i'm going to try another game here which is a uh, quite a similar one so can you please go into this link here bit.ly slash eng456 okay everyone i'm going to give you uh 30 seconds okay to try to log into this link here okay so if you go into the link you will see okay so sorry okay so it is actually the same okay you will look into the similar screen here okay so you will have to enter your name too okay so Everyone, it's okay. If you can't log into the website, it's okay. I'm still going to show you the game in this link here. Okay, in on, on my screen, I will also I will also share the quiz or the game with you too. Okay, so now. Okay, so I saw a few of you saying that you can't log into the link. Okay, it's okay, everyone. So now let's look into the quiz together, okay? So 10 more seconds, then I will show you the game here. Okay, I can see some of you say, yes, it's World War. Yes, good. Have you played this uh, World War game too? Okay, so everyone, let's look into the game now, okay? So if you can't log into the website, like I say, don't worry. I will show you right now. And then you can write down your answer in the comment, okay? So I will check the answer together with you too. Okay, so everyone. Okay, are you ready? Question one. Okay, look into the picture. What is your answer? Can you please type it in the comment? If you don't have the link or if you can't log into the link, can you try to figure out 
or try to type me your answer here. Okay, you can also use the comment here. So you have A, B, C, D. You can straight away type A, B, C, or D. Okay, I can see a lot of D. Okay, in the last three seconds, I'm going to tell you the answer, okay? Okay, the answer is, oh, so sorry, I didn't manage to click the answer. The answer is D, everyone. There are some. Okay, so if you couldn't get it in on time, you will show an X to you. Huh? Okay, so now let's look at question two now. Okay, cheese, everyone. So what is your answer? What is your answer? There are a cheese. There are some cheese. There is some cheese. Or there is a cheese. Okay, I saw a lot of answers here. Okay, you can type out the answer or you can just write A, B, C, D. Okay. 10 more seconds, everyone. Okay, the correct answer is there is some cheese. Everyone, did you find it correct? There is some cheese because we can't count cheese, okay? So now let's look into question three now, everyone. Get ready? So what is your answer here? Great. Can count great. Uh, we have learned it just now, right? Can we count great? What is your answer here? For question three. Okay, I can see see a lot of you answering the questions good we have around 15 more seconds everyone then okay the correct answer is there is some break Everyone, because we can't count bread. Bread is uncountable noun. Okay, so we say there is some bread. Okay, so now let's look into question four, everyone. Ah, bonus round. Okay, so which one do you want me to pick here? So we have here, so this is number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Which card do you want me to pick for this? So we have five cards here. So I'm going to... Which card do you want me to pick? I can see a lot of four, four. Yes, two. Yes, we have a lot, right? Okay, so now let's try to click the fourth card. What do we get? Ah, congratulations, everyone. We got 50 points extra for this round. Okay, so now let's look into mm -hmm. two more questions. Okay, so two more questions. This is question four. Tomatoes. So what is your answer for question four? You have... 30 more minutes. Okay, can you try? Okay. 
Okay, so what is your answer for these questions? Okay, a lot of A. Okay, so in four more seconds, I'm going to tell you the answer. Okay, there are some tomatoes because you saw, you see there are four tomato slices on the table, right? Okay, well done to those who got B as your answer. So the others, don't worry, you still have one more question to try. Okay, so can you try on the last questions here, okay? Question five. So we have the word soap. This is... So you need to think, can we count soup? Okay, can we count soup? What is your answer for the last question here? A, B, C, or D? Okay, I can see a lot of you joining in now. Okay, around 10 more seconds, everyone. Okay, so the correct answer is there is some soup. Okay. Well done, everyone. You have tried out five questions here. So how many did you got it correct? Okay, can you please tell me in the comment? Okay, how many did you got it correct? Okay, thank you, everyone. So I'm going to show the leaderboard. Let me see who's on the board. Nah? Did any one of you got into the link and try it out? Oh, okay. So I think not everyone can got into this link here, but it's okay. I can see a lot of you joining in the live comment here. Okay, I can see some got all correct. Good. Yes, you got three. Okay, so no matter how many you got it correct, it's okay. I hope you enjoy this quiz game here okay so now let's go back into our last activity here okay so after this lesson you can actually try out a few interesting activity okay you can try out a few interesting activities so i have two here for you which is write or draw three food that you like, or you can complete a creative food art. Okay, so after you have draw, or after you have drew or completed a creative food art, okay, you can actually share it on the Padlet. Okay, so this is the link for the Padlet. Okay, bit.ly slash let's think big. Okay, if you can't type the link, no worries. I have a QR code for you to scan later. Okay, don't worry. So now let's go into the Padlet now. Okay, so as you can see, this is how the Padlet looks like. Okay, there is one comment here already. So as you can see, I have posted up my drawing here. So these are my favorite food. I have yogurt, cake, and also toast, okay? So you can also draw and post it here. Share it with all of us, your drawing, or what do you like to eat in your daily lives, okay? And I also have uh, some creative food art here, everyone. So you can see, uh, you can actually use fruits to make different types of food. Okay, so different types of animals, so sorry. So we have caterpillar, okay, we have orange fish, okay. So I can see a lot of you commenting already. Thank you so much. Okay, now, in the Padlet, I have also shared a note 
words, okay? On countable and uncountable, okay? So as you can see, there are actually a lot more countable and uncountable food, okay? So you can see. So beside what we learned today, you can actually learn more through these notes here, okay? So you can log into this Padlet, download it, you can keep it and you can learn it on your own, okay? Now, so beside these notes here, so thank you so much, everyone. I can see a lot of comments here and there. I'm going to show you later. Okay, I have also posted up one game here for you to play after the lesson, everyone. Okay, so it is also the same. You type in your name and then you click start. Okay, this game is called Wake a Mole. Okay, so very easy. So when I click start, so, eat food that matches with that is. Okay, so that is one. So, just hit it. Okay, so there are a few more levels in the game. So, you can go into the game and try it out. And I'm going to post the result. Who is the winner? So, for example, I can do it like this. Ah, okay, so I hope you enjoy the game in your free time. Okay, so this is how you play the game. Okay, so there are a few more levels. You can go into this Padlet and find out this game here. Okay, so this is called Wag a Mole Game. Okay, so now let's see what are some of your comments or what have you shared in the Padlet here. Okay, ice cream, yogurt. Okay, good, donut, cake. Okay, I can see Maggie Me vegetables. Okay, so some I need three, yeah? Yes. Okay, so I can see a lot of comment here and there, ice cream. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. You can continue to add more uh, drawings or your work into this palette, okay? So now let's go right into our slides okay we have one last activity here for our lesson today so can you tell me do you like our lesson today okay so it is also the same okay you need to go into menti.com okay so you go into menti.com and then you type in the code again okay so sorry everyone so you need to type in the code again, 88970, everyone. Go into 88970, and then you click Submit. And then you will see this. Do you like today's lesson? Yes, I do. Mm, I'm not sure. No, I don't. Okay, then you click one, and then you click Submit. Okay, so can you try? into this menti.com then i will show you your response today okay yes i can see so as you can see there are 50 of you commented already okay so oh yes okay so let's see do you like do you like today's lesson everyone okay thank you so much if some of you you couldn't go inside the link is okay you can tell me in the live comment too okay we'll wait for 30 more seconds to let you vote on it Okay, so I will count down to 10, then we'll end our lesson today. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. I can see that uh, most of you like today's lesson. Some of you are not sure. 
and some of you say uh, not really okay it's okay everyone if you think uh, today's lesson doesn't really suit you well you can type in the comment and let me know okay what do you not like about today's lesson okay so thank you everyone for voting for today's lesson and thank you for joining me and also learning about countable and uncountable nouns and i'll see you on padlet for your drawing and creative food art okay so thank you everyone Okay,我们的第一次,嗯,OK,为我们带来了精彩的一堂课哦。OK,这个Cautable、okay, and Uncautable Nouns,OK,那么呢,我们明天的时候啊,将会有这个啊,Elvin老师呢,带给大家的手